as we know, melanocytes, which reside in the epidermal layer, gives us the color of the skin. Well, there's a rare condition known as albinism. This results in decreased number of melanin within the melanocytes. So we have normal number of melanocyte cells themselves, although the melanin within these cells is abnormal. This is mainly due to the decreased activity of tyrosine kinase enzyme or due to defective transportation of the tyrosine. So because there is no melanin, the skin color will be abnormally white. And of course, this will also affect all hair in the body. So the hair will also be abnormally white. Melanin naturally is resistant to sunlight. So this gives us a layer of protection against the UV light. So these patients will have increased risk of skin cancer due to the sun. Another interesting fact about melanin is that it's very important for the development of the eyes. Melanin plays a major role in seeing and especially in the function of the retina. So these patients are also expected to have some eye problems. The types that we have is oculocutaneous albinism, which is the most common, and rarer is the ocular albinism, which only involves the eyes. The disease itself is autosomal recessive. So if both parents carry the disease, one fourth of their children will have the disease. In some cases, it can be X-linked. And that's all about albinism. Use the link below to get access to the full dermatology course. This includes more than 60 lectures with study notes and revision cards. You will also get access to the flashcards and MCQs. Thank you for watching.